Uh, for me personally, I started coding the Commodore 64 in my basement, but for the bearded ladies, it started on a trade to Bergen in Norway, where me and Harald were getting drunk and decided that uh, we're not exactly where we want to be, so let's make sure we get to where we want to be. My name is uh, David Skerin. I'm the CTO, technical department, so to speak, at uh, the Bearded Ladies. Uh, when we first started out, we were kind of terrified to get trampled by the giant uh, when it comes to Sony. Uh, but it turns out they're, they're really great to work with. Very professional, fast feedback loops and, and really great technical support, so it's been all good. Releasing a game on the PSN is it's definitely a dream country. It's, uh, it's like getting your first short shown at the Cannes Festival. It's, uh, it's great. We couldn't ask for a better start. In terms of uh, running a small indie company today, I think the timing is crucial. My name is Harald Thurmansson, CEO of the Bearded Ladies Consulting. Releasing a game uh, on, the, on the PlayStation Network on Sony Store is a first-time experience for us, so we haven't done anything to compare it to. But a year ago, when we were traveling to, to Nordic Game for the first time to show the game as a demo, me and David discussed uh, what would be the absolute best scenario. On the way back from uh, Nordic Games, we realized that we are just about to land that scenario, and that was to produce Landed Bandit on PlayStation 3 for Sony Network or the Sony Store. The new uh, digital downloads, the portals like the Sony Store, Steam, and Gamers Gate are actually fantastic platforms for small indie companies to produce and publish their own games. Because of those portals, we are able to communicate through them to the huge audience and communicate directly to the players all across the world. Sony does rock. There is no question about it. <laughs>